Hi friends, now welcome back to the second session on percentages. In the last session we have discussed some basic level concepts and basic understanding of the percentages. Now in this session we continue this one. In the last session we started a problem. Let us finish off that first and after that we are going to discuss some of the models based on percentages. Right. In the last session we started a question if is salary we started in this way right if is salary is let us take 25 percent more than more than that of b salary then by what percent right b salary b salary less than that of less than that of is was the question in the last session, right? It's a simple one, you see. When A salary is 25% more than that of B's, by what percent B salary is less than that of A's? Some students may confuse with this one by taking the conclusion that when A salary is 25% more than that of B's, then B salary also correspondingly same 25% less than that of A's. That is the wrong conclusion, right? Why is that wrong conclusion? Just see this one. The concept of this. What is the concept of this? A salary is 25% more than that of B's. Now you take B as the base. If B salary is 100 rupees. I am taking. Obviously A salary is 125% more means you know the concept. In the basic class I have given you. Base into 100 into 125 by 100. Anyway, that is 125. Now, by what percent B salary is less than that of A, right? B salary less than that of A means I need to calculate the percentage here based on A salary, not on B salary because A will become base or the denominator. Now here, by what percent B salary more than that of A is? Obviously, the difference is 25, right? That should be upon A's, 125 into 100. Right? So 25 is 1 by 5. 1 by 5 is nothing but 20%. And the final answer for this one is when A salary is 25% more than that of B's, now B salary is only 20% less than that of A's. This is another important finding in percentages. Right? Now, this way I told you, I have uh, like taught you in this way because you should know the concept of this one, why it is, it means how it is changing. Right? Now, let us go for a simple blind method on a shortcut for this type of questions. Alright. Now I can take it this way. I can solve the questions with uh, this one. What is that? Uh, I am going to solve the questions with the fractions I am going to solve. Right. Now let us go for this one. Right. Now let us take it this way. Using the fractions. Using the fractions. How to go for this question. Now see. When A salary is 25% more than that of B, I am taking this one as a fraction, 25% is nothing but 1 by 4. Now by what percent B salary less than that of A's? Right, focus on this word, less than that of A's. I need to go for one more fraction which is obviously less than 1 by 4 as far as this method is concerned. A fraction which is less than 1 by 4 means, what is less than 1 by 4? Suppose you take 1 by 5. 1 by 6, 1 by 7, 1 by 8, all these things are less than 4. When I keep the numerator same, to decrease the value of the fraction, obviously I need to increase the denominator. Automatically the value will be decreased. Now, my question is, what should be the fraction? Of course that should be uh, less than 1 by 4 only. But how much less than? According to this method, that depends upon the numerator. Any numerator, whatever it is, right? So now, by what percent means I keep the numerator in the same way by what percent B salary less than that of A I am going to decrease this one I am going to decrease the value of the fraction by increasing the denominator right so now denominator should be increased in this way the denominator should be increased equal to the numerator in the first fraction now it should be 1 by 4 4 plus 1. Equal to the numerator in the first fraction means increase should be equal. Increase should be equal. Already 4 plus 1. It is 5. Okay. Now 1 by 5 is nothing but 
Now in this way I can go for this one. Take it as a shortcut or blind method for this type of questions. Or else the concept just now I explained it. Now let us go a little further. Change the question, right? Now A salary is let us take up 20%. 20% less than that of base. Then by what percent B salary is uh, more than that of A's? B salary is more than that of A's. Again the same thing. How to solve this question? Now, let us start with the conventional way. The conventional way is, when A's salary is 20% less than that of B, I need to go in this way. B, I am taking as 100. Now, A's salary is 20% less than B. Now, A's salary should be only 80. Now the question is by what percent B salary more than that of A, A, more than that of A. Here also A will become the base. Now here my direct fraction is by what percent B is more than that of A. B is more than A in terms of uh, the numbers uh, that is 20. Alright. By A, 80 into 100. And my answer is, this is 24 times 1 by 4. 1 by 4 is nothing but 25%. Alright. Now, when A salary is 20% less than that of B's, by what percent B salary more than that of A's? Obviously, that is 25%. Now, if you want to do the question with the same fraction method, the fraction method is in this way. Now, only one change is that you have to take everything same. Now, A salary is 20% less. I am taking 20% as 1 by 5. By what percent B salary is more than that of A? Means I need to go for another fraction which is more than 1 by 5. Which is more than 1 by 5. So more than 1 by 5. Like just like how uh, we did in the previous question. I am keeping the numerator same. And now this fraction should be more than this one. More than this one means I am doing with only denominator. Right? More means uh, the denominator should be less. I am going to reduce the denominator which is equal to the numerator of the first fraction. Now it should it is 1 by 5, 5 minus 1, it is 4. By what percent B salary is more than that of A means that is equal to 1 by 4. 1 by 4 is nothing but 25%, right? I hope uh, you have not forgotten that one. So converting fraction to percentage, multiply that one with the 100. Anyway, my answer is 25%, right? Hope you got the idea. Next. After this type of questions, some other models also we are going to discuss. Very commonly asked questions, right? Uh, suppose they ask the question in this way. A person, a person is using a commodity, right? And he is spending some money on that commodity uh, for some consumption there. For monthly, yearly or uh, six months, whatever it may be, right? They ask the questions in this way. If uh, the price of a commodity is increased by, let us say, 25%, Right? By what percent the person should reduce the consumption so as not to increase the expenditure. Expenditure should be same in the previous case and this case also. But here what happened? The rate of price of the commodity has been increased. Obviously he has to reduce the consumption because he wants to keep the, keep the expenditure same. So by what percent it should be reduced is the question. Right? Now let us take a simple example for this one. Uh, this example generally in every book, most of the books they discuss this one, but uh, how to go for this one, we will do in a different way. First of all, the problem is if, uh, I am writing in a shortcut, if uh, the price of a commodity is increased by 25%, then by what percentage the person should, uh, the person should uh, reduce, reduce the consumption consumption so as not to change so as there is no change not to change the expenditure expenditure so means in both the cases expenditure should be same what is the concept of this let us go with the concept the complete idea of that after that obviously i'll give you an alternate method also for that one which can be useful for you in competitive exams right so now let us take in the same way the price of the commodity increased by 25%. Now let us take in this way originally, let us take a price, price of the commodity, I am taking as a 100 rupees, 
All right. Now, the consumption, let us take 100 kgs. Okay. Obviously, the expenditure on that one is 10,000 rupees. Right. This is the original condition. Now, after that, what happened? Price of the commodity has been increased by 25%. So, now, obviously, it becomes 125. All right. So, now, by what percent the consumption should be reduced so as not to change the expenditure? The expenditure will remain same in both the cases. Now, by what percent I need to reduce the consumption? To know the percentage, first of all, according to these figures, I have taken figures randomly. Since the question is based on percentage, you can start the question with any number you want, right? But see that the numbers may be a little convenient for you so as so, so that we can save some time. So now, here, if this is the first consumption, as per this, and keeping the expenditure same, what should be the consumption? Now, this fraction can be taken in this way, 10,000 divided by 125. Okay. Just simplify this one. It is 25 fives, 25 fours, 400, then 5 eights. Now, it is 80 rupees. Means, uh, in the new case, in the, in the second case, now it is 80 rupees. Right? 80, I'm sorry, 80 cages. Right? So, now... What is the interpretation here? When it price was 100 rupees, I was using 100 kgs of that commodity and I used to spend 10,000 for that one. When the price is increased by 25% to 125 rupees, while keeping my expenditure same, I need to use only 80 kgs only. I need to reduce my consumption. Now my question is, by what percent it will happen? Now again the basic thing, how to calculate the percentage? Remember, I am writing here. Now, the percentage should be calculated in this way. Originally, it was 100 kgs. It is being reduced to 80 kgs. Remember, from 100, it is being reduced to 80. By what percent reduction happened means uh, this 100 will become the denominator. Because I need to calculate the percentage based on the 100. Because from 100, it is being reduced to 80. Now, very clearly, what percent it is reduced means that is 20 out of 100. 20 upon 100 otherwise, right? Into, I want to show it in terms of percentage, 100. My answer is 40 percent. Now, what's my final like answer for this question? When the price of a commodity is increased by 25 percent, by how much percent a consumer or a person to reduce his consumption so as not to increase the expenditure that should be equal to 20 percent hope you got the idea now this is the concept you should understand this one then after that we will go for a simple technique to solve exactly this type of questions these questions can be solved in this way instead of taking all these figures all these figures simply just focus on the percentage increase or decrease sometimes the commodity price may be increased or sometimes it can be decreased i'm taking it this way suppose if you take that one as x increment or decrease 